Right then everybody, it is product review time. Um, I've got a little gasmo here. I've had it quite a while now. I was looking at some videos the day, some uh, Japanese off-roaders, and in the centre of the dash, they've got a tilt angle slope meter, and they come as standard, I think, on like your Pajeros and Shoguns and stuff. So I was looking at one of them for my uh, disco, and you can get some aftermarket analog ones, you know, about fifteen pounds. But I thought, you know what, we can do a bit better than that. <clears throat> so after a quick search on eBay, I found this by Auto. Uh, obviously, it's from uh, China, but uh, that's not going to phase as much. So let's delve into this and have a look because I'm keen to. Uh, Set it up. There we go. Destruction's getting lost. Here we go. Okay. Uh, so it is an Auto X90 Smart GPS Slot Meter. What have we got in here? I've had this a few months now, actually. I haven't had a chance to get it, have a look at it yet. And this is probably just like a little uh, service card, is it? Uh, yeah, just tell you where it goes from on that. So that's not special. So that can go over there. I'll leave the other hand, hang on. Let's, let's tilt it upside down. There we go. There we go. I'm guessing, let's look at the little one first. I'm guessing this is the uh, power adapters. Right, so, you got a choice of a wind it directly in, which I shall probably use at some point. But for now, we can just test it on the old fag lighter adapter. And then we've got the unit itself. Two hands for this. There we go. So, a nice uh, dinky little unit, which will probably sit nicely. Go on just them a bit. It won't sit on the oh just there that'll be better won't it just there just about right size for that oh, I shall put it there I don't know I haven't decided I might just put it on back there right let's get it fired up so just looking on the back you've got your power Obviously there, I don't know what that's for, OBD in, a USB, I don't know what that's for, I'll look at the instructions in a minute, and a, a light sensor there. So we'll stick that on there for now. I shall plug that in. Ignition on. Powers on top. There we go. Not bad. I'll remove the protective screen in a minute. That looks pretty funky. So what we got? Uh, we've got speed. Let's turn this ignition off a minute. Uh, that was that compass settings maybe there. If you can see that or not, west, north, pitch and roll, I suppose, on that one. I don't know what the standard Land Rover pitch and roll is. I'm guessing it's about 30 degrees, something like that. So I'm guessing when you get into that red, it's going to alarm at you when you're obviously pitching at an angle. Uh, what have we got here on this one? So that's going to be uh, 
obviously up and down movement like that. Right, so I've just got this in my arm just, just to demonstrate how these how it works, sort of thing, how the alarms work. So if I just tilt that to the side, and you can see that one moving, doing it more. There you go, alarm. Back to level. So if I dip it forward, look at the next one along. Tilt it that way. So yeah, you get the general idea. And, and a compass on this side. So I don't know what that one was. That like a longitude, latitude? I don't know. I'll have to read instructions. Uh, volts. Is that for your battery, maybe? Uh, time. Don't know what that one is. Satellite signal. Uh, let's have a look at the instructions and see what's going on. So I've just been consulting the old manual. Uh, you've got a little icon up here somewhere. That tells you your overspeed alarm. And that one there is uh, K. K is elevation display, which updates the information in real time. Uh, number two function key. So look what else have we got? L. L is roll angle alarm icon, which is there, which would be that exclamation mark there. Everything else is pretty straightforward, really. Yeah, not that bad little device, really. What's the function do? Uh, not a lot. Yeah, so it all just works off satellite, satellite signal. Um, don't know what the cost of it, I forget what the cost of this now is. About £75, I think. Um, obviously, the cheaper analog ones are okay, but I wanted something a bit more, a bit more special, a bit different, I suppose. Uh, so time will tell how good this thing is when we take it off road and it starts alarming at you and stuff like that. So keep an eye on the videos, and I'm sure we'll be uh, doing another. Well, not a review, but um, I'll tell you how we'll get on with it. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll put a, um, I'll put an eBay link in the description below, but you can also find it by also just type in the model number there into Google search or whatever. I'm sure there'll be other stock is other than eBay, but it's around 70 odd pounds. Um, yeah, there you go. I'll see you later.